Hello and welcome guys. Today we are going to talk all about CSV files, how to read them and how to search through them using three different programming languages. Those are C++, Python and a bash shell script file. So as you can see, I have a very large CSV file over here, which contains around 15,000 entries roughly and we are going to have to iterate through this file and search for a particular entry like a city name the date the day or the month the year and etc etc so uh to do to solve this problem as you can see there's a problem over here the timestamp the date the day month and year is in a string and the time is in a string it's, and we have to separate this string to search through a particular month or a particular day or a particular year so to do that we could use the programming languages to do solve this problem but uh, what i did here was a bit of data pre-processing using the flash fill command in excel which is a very good tool uh, i'm gonna show you i'm gonna jump right into it and show you how i used uh, it to separate the days and the months for example, you can see uh, this is the 6th of January 2015, this is the 7th, and so on. So what Excel ne needs is few of the clues. So suppose we want to put the days over here in this column. We're going to put 6 over here, and since this is 7, we're going to put 7 over here. And that's basically all Excel needs to get an idea of the pattern of the data over here. Uh, so that's 8 over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and type eight over here i think that's enough that's enough for excel to figure out the rest of the data on its own and then i'm going to press flash fill over here and it's going to take some time and voila it filled up all of the rows uh, with a particular you know you can see the pattern here eights have been filled out with eights and uh, nines have been filled out with nines and so on so that's a very smart command and microsoft excel is a pretty smart tool in itself so we don't need to worry about that anymore and the final csv file looks like this i've separated out the year the month and the day oops there is a mistake over here i'm gonna try and quickly fix that and yeah so this is what the final CSV file looks like. Now I'm going to jump right into the implementation of this program to search uh, to search through this file. And uh, all right, so this is the Python implementation of the file. We are going to search to search by city, search by day, month, and year. And I'm not going to go ahead and talk about what I did here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload all the code into GitHub and upload a proper documentation of the code so that you can look into it and you could post a comment or whatever if you don't understand a particular thing I am and I will definitely most definitely reply to all of your comments and see and answer back. All right so without any further ado let's run this bad boy and see. All right so press one to search by city search by day search by month search by year so in python i'm gonna search for search by day all right so i'm gonna okay so i'm gonna go ahead and press two here enter a day suppose I'm, i want to search the 27th of all the months in 2015 so i'm gonna just press in 2000 uh, sorry 27 and as you can see it has returned 27 27 all of the 27 sevens in the year of 2015 in the third month uh, all right okay so let's run another query in python let's search for a particular city like let's search for san francisco and as you can see it's iterating to the file looking for all the san francisco entries all the weather data in san francisco and it's giving an input uh giving an output all right 
So that was a Python implementation of the file. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the bash implementation of this file. So bash is a lot more faster than Python or C++. So in this in this video, what I did was I wanted to compare how different languages reacted to big data and like CSV files, how it compared and bash by far is the fastest followed by python and c++ is the slowest so i'm gonna go ahead and run this file here and let's say i want to search for a city here let's say i want to search for singapore and as you can see it's fast it's running faster than all, all of them combined the first one the second one the third one it's running yeah that was that was fast it, it, it had returned all the singapore matching entries let's run this bad boy again and i am going to search for the data in the month say month two which is february as you can see it's returning only the months here and it's iterating through the file and yeah It's a very big file. <laughs> okay, that was the shell script implementation uh, in a bash shell, which is the born again shell. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a Unix like shell. And now I'm going to go ahead and run the C implementation of this file. And C is by far the slowest. Uh, and the, slowest runtime compared to both the other languages so i'm gonna search for say a city let's search for geneva as you can see it's returning geneva but it's returning very slow it's still on the first month and the days are iterating really slowly so that's a problem with c++ as I've already said, the aim of this video, the, this study, was to compare between the performances of different languages and... Yeah, it was basically a comparison between different languages, how CSV files, how big, very big files compared to one another when implemented on, in different programming languages. And as you can see, it took around 51 seconds, it took around a minute to run this file when in all the others it didn't take that long all right so i'm gonna go ahead and run some some other query here i go ahead and run let's search for a, let's let's search for a month yeah we are only gonna search to feb of uh, march so i'm gonna press three and as you can see only the month march is playing and as you can see the days here are very slow to you know run and execute it's gonna take like forever now <laughs> just bear with me still on the 10th day happen the implementation is very slow As you can see, it took around 97 seconds to go through, to run, iterate through one month of one month data. 
So as you can see, C++ is by far the slowest here. And that was it. That was the whole video. And don't forget to check this video out. And don't forget to check the GitHub link out. I am going to upload all the codes all and the, and the CSV file so that you can work around with it, play with it. And I'm going to upload the proper documentation of it so that you can, you know, mess around with it, find little, find little tweaks and do this and that, write different queries. And that's it from me. I hope you like this video and have a good day. Thank you.